Dog Family Farm. I'm Christy. RJ is off at a Rupin. He's actually headed home. Um, we've had a busy day, so I will get right on into it. Um, we'll start with In the Chapel. And let me get my Bible verse here. Um, it is from Romans 3, 23 and 24 it says for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Jesus Christ and uh, I had a very heartwarming talk with a, a I say young lady she's like just a few years older than my daughter and uh, she was going through tough time and trying to understand some things that her mom was going through and some things you know that had happened in her life and one of the things was um, being perfect um, it's okay if parents make mistakes too we just have to admit it remember if you make a mistake own it um, God will forgive you most people around you will forgive you because they know that we're not perfect so that's that um, moving on into the, in the barn stalls uh, man okay so Precious and Whiskey are out of the rope right now. Meringue had twins. Biscotti had a single. Um, and it all, no. Did it all happen on the same day before you? No. Okay, and who else had, uh, uh, Corlette. No, Annette. Corlette. Corlette had a single. So, um, and meringue had twins no sally had twins too we've had like six babies just so you know okay sally had twins and she was first to go then corlette had a single biscotti had a single first i think she had hers before there have been just there was like two years to drop babies in a day we're down to the last two babies um or two last two use it looks like uh, cinder is always our holdout so yeah she is what it is what it is she didn't she always holds out i don't know if she just holds out for the men <laughs> i'm not real sure but she's always one of our last use to give birth it's kind of her claim to fame and um then it looks like snow has started to develop a bag and she was in the pen with Reba, and Reba did get bred, and so I'm thinking that I have a little sneaky peep that can get um, the use through the fence. And there's only one section of fence that has them up against it, so we're actually watching snow very closely. So um, we'll see how that goes. She wasn't supposed to be bred. She wasn't intentionally bred, but we think she is. So anyway, um... Let's see what else in the barn. So nothing really else in the barn. So other than the lambing and all that stuff, the kittens are doing great. Um, the day of the event after we podcast, I think um, Fatso had four kittens, but she had them throughout the day. Like hers were way long in between. I don't know what the deal with with her was. So, but she she gave birth to them. We have not named any of them, and they both have four and four. Uh, we have spent a little time kitten chasing. Uh, sister always wants to move them and Fatso wants them to stay still. So at one point we had them in separate boxes and then we put them together and they did okay like that for a while and then sister wanted to move them and Fatso didn't so we had to put them back in separate cages and at this point they're doing fine in separate cages. So we still have our boxes and we still have our beds together in case they um, decide that they need it so I think that is really all that is in the barn stalls um mending fences the only thing getting fixed around here is my truck again so it's at the mechanic today and it looks like it's going to be picked up tomorrow um yeah it's getting a new main seal on the oil pan and it looks like some little plastic guides for the timing belt have wore off. But he says it's going to be, it, he's checked all of it under there. He says it's going to be fine. Um, the thing is, is that um, 
in the future we will have to look at doing that. He says it costs quite a bit. He doesn't have the equipment to do it because you have to take the whole front end off or something. So yeah, we'll see. He says it should be fine for a while like that. He says sometimes they run forever. So, um, let's see what else in mending fences. I really don't think we've had any major anything other than my truck. Uh, I think that's it really. Um, in the yarn farm, we had some very special guests come by here today and it is Ride for World Health. And if you follow us last year, you'll know that it was totally by accident that they found us and now we are an annual stop. So um, this year we were a little bit more prepared. Uh, last year they started, they stopped just for Farm Fresh Eggs. Well, this year we got our rears in gear we got them a dozen farm fresh eggs. They're going to make omelets tonight. We gave them some fresh basil and some winter onions and onion greens so that they can mix that together. And they have a tomato and some tortillas. So they're going to um, make kind of a burrito, um, fresh veggie and egg burrito. Um, we also hard boiled them some eggs and uh, of course did that with vinegar, hoping that, that will help them peel them a little bit easier. So, um, then we have officially taken them on as sponsors. They got here this year and their faces were just so sunburnt and dry and their lips were dry. So we have decided that before they start their ride every year, we will send two lip balms and two lotion bars for every team member that is going to make the trip. And then when they get here, we're just over the halfway mark. So if they're low when they get here, we will recharge them with two more and send them on their way. Um, it's amazing what they do. They ride coast to coast. They're Ohio State medical students. They pass their final exams. They start their residencies. When they get um, through graduation, they will stop on this trip. They will get back to Ohio, um, graduate, and then they'll finish on going out to the East Coast. So, And then they take a few days off they start the residencies wherever they are going to for residency uh, awesome awesome they raise awareness they speak along the way and this is just a fun little stop for them there's no speaking engagement here if somebody wants to come out and meet them they're more than welcome to uh, just an amazing bunch of young kids and I say kids because they're in their 20s and, and they are amazing so yeah anyway so that happened today um, they got to play with Amethyst, the baby chicks, the kittens, uh, Miss Piggy, you know, Buttercup, and uh, then of course the two donkeys. So they had a blast. Woo! Like I said, we're just a fun little stop for a healthy little meal. We, we whatever herbs I have, um, we make sure that they get enough to make some omelets and stuff. So, uh, and of course, hard boiled eggs this year, we added that to the thing to the mix. So I may see what else will grow. Um, I may put some more herbs in the window next year so that they have a choice of what herbs they want. So, um, yeah, the only other thing we had visits, um, the farm is open in full swing. Um, nothing astronomical, um, in the farmhouse. I've been working on my rug. Oh, no, I did go and do a demo at Turn the Page, which is a 501c3 nonprofit volunteer place. It's like a little community room in Coffeyville, Kansas. And we were up there for about four hours. So um, if you follow us on Facebook, you probably saw a lot of those, um, a lot of the pictures and all that stuff. I've got to go to Wendy's page and, and post them over so that um, we have them on ours. She was doing all the videoing for both of us. So, um, trying to think of anything else that went on. Um, my weekends, because I'm working Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and sometimes Friday, uh, I'm packing as much into the weekends as I can, and we're doing group, um, on Wednesdays. So, it gives RJ time off. Um, it's really a schedule that's working for us, so, and we're enjoying it. It's, it's putting more responsibility on RJ, and he's kind of growing up. It's a good thing. So, um, 
I'm happy with that. I have been working a little bit more on my rug latch hook or hook latch, whatever you want to call it. Um, I haven't gotten very much. You can't really see the the thing yet. So um, I think our big problem has been with the truck, but I think that's okay and doing okay. So um, we'll see what happens and see where to go from here with it. Um, RJ is working to get his um, truck, the bed on his truck. He's got a couple of outside horses coming in. He is done with Streak and sending him home. And I think he's got two others coming in this next week for him to start riding. And they're just young colts, so we'll evaluate them. Um, we're pretty upfront with the people, make sure that they have common sense. And if they have any glitches or little things that need to be worked out, we'll work out. We'll work on them. So. Um, the two new ones that are coming in is for a new customer, so we're not sure. It's a first time customer, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, other than that, I really think that's about all that's going on. Um, I know it's a pretty short update, no antics and silliness. Um, his big thing, RJ's big thing is he found candy on sale. Uh, it's Easter candy and it's his favorite candy and it's those Starburst jelly beans. Oh my gosh, I cannot find enough of those so um yeah that and the chocolate covered marshmallow they're so gross and he loves them so um yeah anyway i'm gonna get off of here i'm gonna cook some <laughs> this is gonna sound terrible some taco omelets and uh the guys should be getting in here in about 45 minutes so I will have their dinner ready, they'll do chores, and we'll probably be off to bed pretty quick. Um, just because RJ was out till four o'clock last night roping. He worked a roping, went to a roping, and then he got up and went and had to work the roping today that he also roped in. So he's been kind of a busy beaver this weekend. Um, I pick up my truck tomorrow. Well, actually RJ does. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's just one of those. But other than that, I think that is it for anything going on around here. RJ is trying to get some different videos, some roping videos and some springing videos. That's his two things. He's trying to put up some roping and some springing. So look for those on YouTube and we will keep you posted. We're, I'm going to get back to work. My food is cooking. I'll talk to you later. Bye.